everyone, it's Jamie Jaco, your 31 girl, and I'm going to show you some quick recipes because I make everything as easy as possible in my life, and I'm going to show you the products that I'm carrying those recipes in. So we're getting ready to head to my pa's house, and we're just doing finger foods, keeping it super easy, um, but of course, to make things even easier, I'm going to show you the stuff that I carry it in so I don't have to worry about spilling it or dropping it, keeping it cold or hot, whatever I need. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, the Fresh Market Thermal. This is probably one of our thermals that gets used the most. So I've got it personalized with the Jayco's on here. It's been um, folded down, which that's my, another part of my thing that I love with 31 is I can just fold everything up and put it in drawers or stack it up, put it away. I just love that, that I can do that. So this is the Fresh Market Thermal, and I love that it's so big because this is what I put my crock pot in. So I've still got my crock pot cooking, so I'm not going to actually move the crock pot over here. But y'all, this thing is massive. You can see how tall it is, and you can also undo these sides, and it's going to make it even bigger. And then you can also clip down these sides, and it's going to make it a little smaller. But this is the Fresh Market Thermal. Now what I'm going to put in this one is my crock pot. So I've got just some meatballs with some barbecue sauce and grape jelly. Super easy recipe. Everybody loves it. We go crazy over the meatballs. But it's so easy. You throw them in the crock pot, throw the two things in there, and you're good to go. And then I throw it in this crock, and I throw, I throw the entire crock pot in this bag, like cord and all. Because when I get back to my paws, or when I get to my paws, I'm probably going to plug it back in to keep it cooking for a little bit longer. But then a lot of times, I'll just take the crock pot out of the, the thing that it cooks in, and I'll like wrap a towel around it and stick it in here, and it's good too. So that's what I love, because it's going to keep this nice and warm for me getting from A to B. Everything's going to stay nice and hot inside this thermal. Y'all, our thermals are amazing. Um... If you don't have a thermal, you need a thermal. I love these. Um, we have seriously drove for hours when we go kayaking. We use our thermals and everything stays cold. It's just awesome. So the thermals are the best. So this is the Fresh Market Thermal. My crock pot, my big crock pot fits in here. And that's why I love it because I can just put it in here, zip it up. It's all going to stay nice and hot. And then I can carry it on my shoulder and my hands are free. Okay, so that's the first snack. We've got meatballs in a crock pot. They're going in the Fresh Market Thermal. My next thing I'm going to show is my dip. So if y'all know me, I'm a chip and dip girl. <laughs> like, I'm not a big sweets fan. Um, I like some sweets, not a lot, but I love chips and dip. Any kind of chips and dip, I'm game for. So I'm always the girl that brings chips and dip to any kind of family gathering. So I've got this dip, and it is a crowd pleaser. See it in there? What it is, it's one pack of ranch, um, like the dip. You know what I'm talking about? Like the powder dip. It's one pack of ranch dip. Um, and then, what else is in there? Went, um, the Mexi corn, like the Fiesta corn. Um, drain that, put it in here. A can of Rotel, drain that and put it in here. Um, cheddar cheese, like shredded cheese, a cup of that. And then 16 ounces of sour cream. So it's just kind of like you're making that ranch dip where it's the ranch packet and the sour cream. And then you're just adding to it to make it even better. So you'll do the ranch dip the sour cream, the corn, get the Fiesta corn, um, or the Mexi corn, whatever you can find. Um, and then the cheese, the cheese is the best part. It kind of makes it a little thicker too. Um, Y'all are gonna hear my crazy kid upstairs. Uh, and then, was that it? And then the Rotel. So that's it, you just mix it all together and it's done. Put it in there, let it get cold and hard, it's amazing. And then just throw um, some tortilla chips with it. Y'all, I'm telling you, it's the best. Like, I always hope that, like, it doesn't get all eight before I get back home so that I can just sit and eat it. And I usually do. Like, when I get back home, I'll just grab the chips, grab the dip, and then eat all of it. So, since this needs to be nice and cold, I'm putting it in my quick cinch thermal. So, I'll just see how big it is, and it has the drawstrings. That's why I love this one, because I'm going to put the dip at the very bottom, and then I'm going to put a bag of chips beside it so it has something protecting it. Then I'm going to put the other packet, because I've got two bags of chips. So I'm going to put the dip in here, chips on one side, chips on top of it, and then anything else like that you need, like silverware for any of the stuff you're serving, paper towels, whatever, you've got plenty of room. And this is also my favorite thing, is since it cinches together, you've got all this extra room up here too. So if you fill it a little bit fuller than what it, like then down here at the tote, it's completely fine because you can just pick it up here, cinch it up, and you're good to go. So this is the quick cinch thermal. Um, like I said, I love this one because it's thermal, so I can put the dip in there and keep it cold. But I also, I use this bag all the time, even if I don't need thermal. Like if I'm just running to Walmart, 
and getting a couple of like toiletries and stuff. That's why I love this bag is it can be used for so many different things. So this is the Quick Sitch Thermal. And then this is my Fiesta Dip. So that's number two. And last but not least is my cake. Now, I made this cake once before. Like I said, all of the stuff that I make is super easy. Like Liv could make it. I could like just sit there and just tell her what to do and she can make it. It's that easy. Like y'all don't have time to complicate stuff. All of my stuff's super easy. So with this cake, the last time I made it, I made it and I brought it to church and I never got to eat any. Oh, Craig, there was Craig. You should have said hi, honey. Um, I <laughs> so I made this cake when, and then I brought it to church and before I could even try it, it was all gone. But then I had so many people talk about how much they loved it. And it's also super pretty. Like my preacher, Richard, he swore up and down that like I bought it at Kroger. I think he was just being super nice to me, but it made me feel really good since it was the first time I made it and I was really hoping it was good. So this is called strawberry, uh, like, poke cake I guess you would call it it's super easy so just buy a white uh, a box of white cake mix cook it like normal so I, and then it's done okay so you've got the white cake mix in here then let it cool for 10 minutes and then take a straw and this is my kids favorite part you take a straw and you poke holes all in the cake I'm afraid to turn it too far. I'm going to like dump it out on me. But take a, um, a straw and just poke holes all the way in it. If y'all are commenting, I'm so sorry. For some reason, it's not showing. So I will get all of these comments if you have questions and stuff. I'll be happy to answer those after I get off the video. I don't know why it's not showing. But um, take a straw and poke holes. The more the better and the smaller the better. So you could use like a wooden spoon, but I like the smaller holes. So I just get like a straw and I poke the holes in there. And the why my kids love it is when you're poking the holes in there, that cake is coming up that straw. And then before you're done, you have a whole straw of cake. And so I just literally like, it looks like a worm. You bring it out and the kids love it. It's just fun. We make it fun. Um, so uh, poke holes in the cake. And then you're going to take a box of strawberry jello mix. Um, just strawberry regular jello the powder um, one cup of boiling water mix it together let that sit for two minutes um, and then after you've let it sit for two minutes you just pour the jello mix all over the cake and so it's going down into those holes um, and then I put it in the refrigerator for like an hour or two that way the jello can get hard and it can get cooled down and then after that y'all I just put um, Cool Whip over top of it and then it doesn't call for it, but I cut up strawberries and put on top of it just because I love strawberries. If it's a dessert and if it has strawberries, I'm all about it. So I just kind of added the strawberries, but you don't even have to. Like the the recipe doesn't call for strawberries. I just like the strawberries. I like to add a little bit extra. Um, so that's all it takes, y'all. Just white cake mix, uh, strawberry jello mix. Cool Whip and strawberries. And I mean, y'all could probably try it out with different flavors, not just strawberries. So I think that would be fun. Um, but I'm just going to put a lid on it. And then when I'm carrying it in is my perfect party set. So I love this. Um, it's been around forever with 31 because it's that good. Like so many people love our perfect party set. And the reason why I love it is because it has a pocket up here. So you can put like a spoon, silverware, whatever you need in there. But it holds a 9 by 13 case. So I'll put my lid on it. Um, and then I'll just, it's like squished down. Y'all, that's why I love this stuff. All of my 31 products are just like squished down and like put in a closet. And it's out of sight, out of mind. I don't have to worry about like big and bulky stuff. It just all lays flat. It's perfect. Um, but these little edges race up. A 9 by 13, see how big it is? A 9 by 13 dish will go in here and I'll zip it up and I'm good to go. But what I also love about it is two can fit in here. So with our perfect party set, you can fit two 9 by 13 casserole dishes. And y'all, it's for hot or cold. So I need this to stay cool because the Cool Whip. Um, and it's perfect because I'll put the lid on it. I'll put it in here. This thermal lining is going to keep it the way it needs to be. So if I put it in here cold, I'm going to take it out of here cold. If I put a casserole in here, if I put it in here warm or hot, it's going to stay warm or hot when I pull it back out. So there's been so many times I've cooked a casserole for church and then I bring it out. I let it cool a little bit and then I'll wrap a towel around it, put it in here and I'm good to go. And I can like bring this, sit through the whole church service and then bring the food if we eat afterwards and pull it out and y'all it is still popping hot our thermals are amazing and that's why i use them all the time so that is the three quick and easy things that i'm taking i'm taking my crock pots or my meatballs in my crock pot and the fresh market thermal 
Let me bring that back so y'all can see it. Y'all love this thing. This is also perfect. We go to the zoo a lot or the aquarium, anything like that. And I don't want to stop at gas stations and spend a whole lot of money. So we fill this thing full of like our lunch plus drinks and snacks. And this is what we take for all day. Like we can fit all day worth of lunch, drinks, and snacks. It's perfect for our family. Okay, and then we've got my awesome Fiesta dip. And that's going to go in the quick singe thermal with the chips. That way I can keep it all together. And then last but not least is my strawberry cake. I'm going to put the lid on it. And then I'm going to put it in my awesome perfect party set. So that's it. I hope you all have a great day. I'm going to head to my Paul Baker's house and have some amazing family time. So excited. My niece and nephew are in from Florida. So I get to hug on them and kiss and love them. And I'm just so excited to see them. So y'all have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.